Welcome to a tutorial on how to determine antiderivatives or evaluate indefinite integrals on the TA89 graphing calculator. The integrate function is located under the calculus menu. To access the calculus menu, we press F3. Let's go ahead and press F3. Notice how integrate is number two. So we can either arrow down one and press enter or just press two. Let's go ahead and press two. The sequence we enter to find the antiderivative is the integrand function, comma, the variable of integration, close parenthesis, and then enter. So for this first antiderivative, we'll enter x squared plus 4x minus 5, comma, the variable of integration, which is x, close parenthesis, and enter. One important thing to remember when using the T89 is it does not include the constant of integration. Remember the antiderivative is a family of functions. So the antiderivative is x cubed divided by three plus two x squared minus five x plus c. Let's also take a moment and find the derivative of the antiderivative to make sure we do get the original integrand function given here. To do this, we'll press F3 and then number one is differentiate, so we'll press one and now we'll copy the antiderivative function here by pressing up and then enter. We can leave off the plus c because remember the derivative of a constant is zero. So from here we'll just press comma x close parenthesis enter and notice how we do get the original integrand function. Now let's look at our second example. If we wanted to, we could access the integrate function from the home screen. Notice how right above the seven there is an integral sign so instead of pressing F3 number two, we can also press second seven, which also brings up the integrate function. And now we'll enter the integrand function shown here. So six X raised to the power of three minus nine divided by X raised to the power of three plus two divided by X plus seven. Now for the cubit of X squared, we'll use a rational exponent. So we'll enter this as x raised to the power of two thirds. So x raised to the power of, we need the fractional exponent in parentheses. So open parenthesis two divided by three, close parenthesis, and then we have plus three. So there's the integrand function, comma, the variable of integration, which is x, close parenthesis, and enter. So now we have the antiderivative, but we must include plus c on the end. Also notice how there's a right arrow here on the right, which means there are more terms to the right. So if we press up and then right, we can see all the terms in the antiderivative. Just remember, when writing this down, we need to include plus c for the constant of integration, again, because the antiderivative is a family of functions, not a single function. I hope you found this helpful.